just say that it, it's so lovely to see you all here tonight and to thank you very much for coming. And I want to offer a vote of thanks to those people, the social committee and many of us actually, who have uh, spent such a lot of time organising this evening's meal and all the other preparations that go with it, like the, the table decorations and the quiz and all those many things. So a, a warm word of thanks and a, a round of applause to them. I was, uh, I was telling someone what I was going to say a few words, and I said, well, what should I say? And they said, tell them a few jokes. <laughs> oh, well, I'm useless at jokes, absolutely and utterly useless. But there was some in the paper the other day from the, uh, from the fringe, the, the, the best and the worst of the fringe jokes. And one of them, are you ready to grow? One of them was a, 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 a guy in, in Henley, and he stopped a, a, another guy, and he, he said, uh, Excuse me, can you tell me if there's a B and Q in Henley? He said, no, it's an H, there's an E. So that's the best. <laughs> <laughs> the, the other one was um, uh, about crime in multi-storey car parks. They said that it was just wrong on so many levels. <laughs> So, 40, 40 is rather a significant anniversary. 40 is a very, very biblical number. You know, the Israelites tramped around the, uh, the desert for 40 years. Moses was there for 40 days getting the, the Ten Commandments and, uh, and our Lord in the wilderness. So it's a, it really is a, a significant thing to celebrate. And 1971 was a, a, a very important year in many ways. Lots of things seem to have happened in that year. For example, decimalization took place. Two moon landings, Apollo 14 and 15. Mohammed Ali was defeated for the first time in a very long career. Joe Frazier floored him. Arsenal won the cup. <laughs> Should have impressed them. And uh, Disney Florida opened. The dollar was devalued, deja vu coming up I imagine. The United Kingdom decided to join the EEC. <laughs> Khrushchev died. Darren was born. <laughs> and, uh, and Bishop Campbell was ordained priest. And of course, best of all, St. Clair's was founded. My earliest recollection of St. Clair's was quite a long time after it was founded, 1996, when I celebrated at a family wedding there. But folks, one of my most um, powerful memories is of an elderly couple from St. Clair's, and I'm hoping that you can tell me who they are, because I haven't got the foggiest. It was at the time when I was chaplain at Blackpool Victoria Hospital, and I came across this couple who were there. Um, she was upstairs on Ward 8, and I can see this lady still in my mind's eye. They both retired to the far coast from St. Clair's Parish. And she, uh, she was a dead ringer for Mrs. Malaprop. That's the reason I, I remember her. Nearly every word that came out of her mouth was hilarious. But both of them kept talking about St. Clair's. <laughs> That's the thing that really stands out for me. Um, she said to me as soon as I arrived, I knew you'd come today, Father. And I said, oh, how, how do you know that? She, I have the gift, she says. I have the gift. TCP. <laughs> yeah, think about it. Um, but she did say that it, it was a family affair, because her husband was in, having tests. And I said, A-levels. <laughs> Yeah, she didn't laugh. <laughs> no, no, she said, he's having an anagram. <laughs> and her granddaughter was in, and as she said that, she said, granddaughter's over there, and she pointed through the window to the, to the maternity suite. And I said, is she having a baby? So quick on the update. And she said, yes, but it's very, very late, and the doctor says, if it hasn't come by six o'clock tonight, she'll have to be seduced. 
private patient. Well, she had me in stitches. It wasn't a surgery. So I went to see her husband, um, and he was sitting chatting to another patient. And the other patient greeted me very warmly. He said, Oh, hello, vicar. How lovely to see you. Well, the guy said, No, it's not the vicar, it's the Catholic chaplain. And folks, this guy, he changed immediately. Vitriol poured out of him. And he complained bitterly about the Catholic Church, as we all do. But if you're a signed up member, that's all right. Isn't it? <laughs> and he came to that thorny issue of the, of the wealth of the Vatican. Wealth of the Church, my little man said to him. I'll tell you about the wealth of the Church. I thought, oh, God, then that's all I need a card carrying Catholic communists. <laughs> He said, Father in England is going to give me the entire wealth of the Catholic Church. And I thought, he's fallen off his perch, this guy. He's fallen off his perch. And then for the next 90 seconds, I heard the most powerful homily I've ever heard of the real presence of our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament. And that's what that guy, I cried when I listened to his wife after the merriment. But when I listened to him, I was so moved with what this man said. And they were from St. Clair's. <laughs> so I'd love someone to tell me afterwards who these people were. The parish has achieved much in the last 40 years. We built a school, we built a church, a presbytery, a parish hall. And what we've achieved in charity, in loving concern for one another, has been phenomenal. In loving concern for countless thousands whom we've supported overseas. In loving concern for the preaching of the gospel, celebrating mass and the sacraments. In loving concern for the patients in the Royal Preston Hospital and in looking after their families. So yes, 40 years, by and large, well spent. So I want to make sure that you've got your glasses charged at this point, because I, I want to give a toast to the next 40 years. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to give the toast St. Clair's Adultos Anos. St. Clair's Adultos Anos. Green, 591. 591. 591.